Hi guys, so this is the perspective tutorial and just to start uh, you need to make sure that you have version 2 and not version 1 because version 1 doesn't have it and uh, if you have the official program bought then you can go to the main site I mean you can get a crack as well uh, you will get to this website you need to go all the way down to the development room click on this link go to this site and download the preview here then to get uh, the full program in development version you need to download a license that is exactly here where you can download it this is what you just did with the license you uh, had with the official version one as well and if not then i don't know get a crack <laughs> like everyone else so this is paint tool side 2 it has a lot of really nice feature including text and shapes and blah 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 but also perspectives and there are three main perspectives which you can choose of uh, just think of them in dimensions or it's it's not technically dimensions but you add uh, depth to them so this is perspective ruler one with one vanishing point here in the middle and you see these three lines red blue and green and these three lines will uh, be where you can paint. That means you cannot go outside of this line once you started painting, which is incredibly useful because otherwise your line would maybe look like that. That's not going to happen with it. So this is the one vanishing point and it basically means that you have a cube and you are looking at this front. And Let's just shift it a bit. This is, by the way, the horizon line. And if you use it somewhere, then always first get the horizon line right and then the rest. So if you have a cube like that, you can paint it that way and it will all go to this point, no matter which cube you are painting. And everything will be within these lines that you created with it. And it will get over there to the uh, to the layer section, so you can put it on there on your on your canvas, and then have your layers and layering on top of each other. And you can put it off if you want to do something around. For example, put a shape on there. I don't know, and then put it on again, and I don't know, connect these things, whatever. So just be creative with that. Uh, that is. Perspective ruler one. You can have multiple perspectives in one painting, wherever you would want to do that, but it's possible. And uh, perspective ruler with two vanish vanishing points adds another feature. You still have this green thing in the middle, this one, but you also have this blue addition here. So if you put it over there where it was, then you will see you can add another depth to it. That means the cube you painted before where you looked at the at the surface is now rotated. That means this. You're now looking at this side and not at this uh, area. And you can do that with a whole lot of cubes here flying around everywhere and they will all just add up like that. That is one perspective thing I've used a lot. I barely use this. Oh, by the way, I forgot. This is incredibly useful because you can um, deselect certain, you know, certain lines here. If you deselect the green line, then you basically can only paint with rectangles. And if you want to make, I don't know, a room and you want to make a blueprint, it's incredibly easy to make that. Because uh, here you can, I don't know, add a door, then a bed, and a desk, and whatever. And I use that to create rooms, basically. And then I put them in perspective. But that way I make sure everything is rectangular. So, wait, no, sorry. So, back to this one. This is the two vanishing point one. And this one, the third one, is the most fancy one. And... Honestly, it looks the best if you <laughs> kind of get a hang of it. But 
this one creates just what the three uh, the two vanishing points one creates plus additional height whoops that's not how it's supposed to be let's make it i don't know like that does it make sense so you can have ah he selected that one you can have all sorts of cubes like that that looks a bit ridiculous but if you think about it you're now looking that uh, at that corner right here and this is your horizon so you cannot see this bottom and you cannot see the top part because you are on that height and this is adding a lot of dimension to a painting and again then you can basically put them everywhere if you want them to be flying around but this is the the one that is a bit challenging to get right in the first place but it's also the one that makes the most interesting paintings and i think yeah that's about it so i hope that's helpful for you and bye bye